This year marks our second visit to Isla Mujeres, Mexico, one of the very first destinations that American traveling sport fishers began visiting in the late 80s. Each spring, hordes of hungry Atlantic sailfish show up to feed on the migrating balls of sardines. Literally thousands of sailfish swarm into these waters when the bait comes in hard, and anglers can expect 20 or sometimes 30 bites a day when the fish are really turned on. This is one place that you can see sails cutting on the surface and actively working balls of sardines in crystal clear water that's only 60 to 100 feet deep. Most of the time, you only need to make runs of 20 miles or less to get to the body of fish, but our captains will make the runs necessary to put us on the bite. Fishing here consists of pulling dredges, dead ballyhoo, and a couple of teasers, so you will learn how to drop back circle hook baits to finicky sails. Captain Anthony Mandillo on the Keen M has fished this area for over 20 years and is an expert at finding bait balls and presenting dead baits to working fish. Onshore, Isla Mujeres offers a true glimpse at Old Mexico. 20 miles and a ferry ride away from the bustling tourist centers of Cancun and Cozumel, Isla Mujeres provides a much more relaxed and tranquil setting. Its quaint, shop-lined streets are pedestrian only, and since there are no cars allowed on the island, everyone gets around in golf carts. You can literally let your children run free here. In Isla, we eat at magnificent local restaurants, which specialize in traditional Mexican and seafood dishes. As a bonus, there's no closer destination to the East Coast, and a short travel time can get you out of the cold winter freeze and fishing in the tropics in just a few hours. <laughs> Goddamn!